So now let's start. And again, welcome to all of you. I'm really happy that you find your own lifetime and precious lifetime to share your lifetime with me this afternoon or this evening or this morning, whenever you watch this show here. Yeah, why we need to talk. And you know, when someone is talking to you, we need to talk. Then it's, yeah, I, I think it's going to be a really a uh, little bit dangerous. But this is a kind of easy information webinar. But also, I want to say, yeah, we need to talk. And of course, um, the chat is also open. If you want to know something, then of course, you can text or you can type in the chat box and I can answer your question. I guess normally you are used to have a big presentation, a PowerPoint presentation, but ah, that's not me. I used to teach you in a different way because we need to have a conversation. We need to talk to each other. And uh, when you subscribe to this special event here, then you know we need to talk about specific questions. So first of all, and you know I have prepared my own notes because I have to talk so many, th so many informations and so many things to talk to you. So why we, why we do trading? Why we basically, in general, why we want to make trading, by the way? Yeah? Why we need a strategy and rules? Yeah? How to control our emotions? Trading, do it yourself. Is it possible that you can teach yourself? And then, of course, at the end, I have a special offer for you. So if you click, by the way, on my camera, then you can extend the camera. And then you see, of course, the whole uh, display here, too, where I want to show you something here. So first of all, welcome, of course. And let's figure out, first of all, guys, why we do trading. Yeah, What's the reason why we are here? And as my mentor used to say, we come to trading, of course, about money. But at the end, we stay about insights. But basically, I'm quite sure you are involved in trading. You are a trader. You want to become a trader. You want to make money with trading because you need money. All of us, we need money. First of all, maybe we want to save money yeah, for our retirement. Maybe you want to save money for your kids, for example. yeah, Or maybe for any other education, for example, education. yeah, Or as I said, for the kids or for your retirement. yeah. So a lot of things around of us why we want to make trading, because we need money. So now it depends a bit, where are you right now? And first of all, just be aware that English is my second language. So of course, not perfect, but I'm quite sure you will understand what I try to explain. And of course, at the end of the show, you get my email and then you can get in touch with me directly. So Basically, it depends a little bit where are you. If you live here in Europe, for example, that maybe then you have a kind of good salary. You have a good income every month. But maybe you live in USA. Maybe you live in Africa or in Asia. Then your salary, your income is not that much from your job, maybe. And then you have problems to save money for your retirement. Maybe you have problems to save money to give it to your kids that they can go to the university. And it's very, very expensive to have a better school education and to grab a good job for later. Maybe this is really, really exhausting and, of course, really expensive. Yeah? Or maybe you want to save money for your retirement for later. And here we go. That's a lot of reasons why we come basically to trading. Yeah? Or we can say to the stock market, to the forex market. It doesn't matter why we come to trading, yeah? which market you want to trade. The moment you can open an account, and this is the next point, 
the big the big marketing, the big promotion tells us this big story trading is really, really simple. It's an easy, easy way to make money. But we have three numbers. I want to show you the well and the famous, the well-known three numbers. 90, 90, 90. That's not my body. Uh, that's not the. That's not my body, of course. Maybe the legs, yes, maybe, but the rest, of course, not. But ninety, ninety, ninety means ninety percent of all traders lose ninety percent of their account during the first ninety days. So when you open an account, almost three months later, the bra account is broken about 90% of all traders. Now we are living in the 21st century. We should know and we should assume that it's easy to grab any information about trading. So why is it so hard to make money with trading? What is the difference between the 90% and we can say, the 10% of the rest, they make money. Where is the big difference? It's kind of clear. They have a clear strategy. So, which means, let me erase that. I guess you can make your own notes if you want, because this session is not recorded, by the way, because this is an original story, original uh, meeting, event, there is a big gap, a big gap between information, information online and real trading. And let me remind you, 90% of all traders fail. By the way, I do trading for 25 years now. And believe me, I know how hard is, it is to make money with trading. But basically, we can say in the 21st century, and if you show, if you have a look at this show right now, or if you have a look at all the other hosts you can see in this big event here, for example, then you know you get any information you, every, you ever want about trading. There is nothing... Uh, oh, there is no information you don't get about money management. Whatever there is online, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, a lot of homepages, millions and myriads, I would say, of information about trading. But we are still this number. That means, okay, there must, where is the gap? Where is the gap between everything is there in information, but in trading, 90% don't get it. Where's the difference? There's a clear point. The 10% that make money with trading, they have a clear strategy. Clear strategy. And therefore, we need to talk First of all, about a strategy. And I want to explain this uh, way more closer that you understand what are you doing when are you working at the stock market or at the forex market. So first of all, there is a big difference between an investor and a trader. It's a big, big difference. And of course, maybe there is a, there is a third one. Uh, we can say, I make a little small, it's an analyst. Yeah, there is a big difference between being an analyst, an investor, or a real trader. There's a big, big difference. What is an investor? As an investor, you do investing. You make a big investment. And we have to go closer to this special word, investment. 
investment is not trading. As an investor, you're kind of maybe Warren Buffett. Yeah, he is investing in Apple, for example. As an investor, you are investing in a specific product. You are investing in a special company because you believe in this company that this company will give you dividends in the future and will give you back your money and will um, yeah will double your money with this investment. We can compare it with investment in your health. For example, so you go to gym, you change your food, you drink enough water or something like this, which means you are investing in something. And you know, this is the sentence because beyond the word investment. Um, I have a black screen without sound. Then you have a problem uh, because camera is on and microphone also. Okay, so can you give me just, uh, I guess you can hear me and see me, right? Uh, that should be working. It shut, the camera is open. There is no presentation, by the way. That's my presentation, yeah? So um, the point is, which means you don't, thank you very much. You don't expect that your investment is coming back very quick. If you are investing in a company, then you, uh, you do the investment for years. If you invest in your health, for example, and you go to the gym, then you know you don't get fit after one week, which means investment has the intention to work over years. It's a long term. And you don't sell. You just buy. You invest. You buy the shares of a company. You buy gold. Yeah, you buy silver, you buy platinum, you buy chocolate, whatever there is, you buy health. There's no selling, yeah, for example. This means investment. What is an analyst? An analyst has nothing to do with trading. An analyst is just explaining what happens. He's just finding any reasons why something happens and what could happen in the future about the stock market, about the companies, about uh, the economy, about the rate, about the central bank, something like this. An analyst is just an explanation guy. If you want to make analyst, if you want to make money with analyzing, then you must hire at the bank or at an office or wherever you get money, you get paid for analyzing something. So my question for you is now, are you an investor? Are you an analyst? Or do you want to be a trader? Because a trader has nothing to do with an investor. And a trader has nothing to do with an analyst. Absolutely nothing. Because a trader is what the word trading means. He is or she is trading something else. And now you can, can compare the word trading or trader with the real business. Whatever there is. So let's make a comparison, for example, and let's say you are a businessman, a businesswoman, and of course, maybe you have a flower store. Yeah, You want to open a business with flowers. So what you have to do now, you, have, you are the owner of a flower store, which means you want to sell flowers, and of course, you want to make money with selling flowers. So what is what you have to do in the first place? Yeah, of course, you have to calculate in the first place the tax, yeah, the costs, all costs about the, the store, uh, your car, your uh, furniture in the, in, the, in, the, in the store, something like that. So there is a lot of costs you have to cal calculate 
in the first place. You don't have to buy, you, you didn't buy something, you didn't sell something, you open a store for your flowers, to, to sell flowers, for example. So now the flower is your product, which means you want to make money with the product. What do you do next? Yeah, of course, before you can sell your flowers to make money, you have to buy first, right? Which means you go to the big market, yeah, and you buy flowers for a specific price. And of course, you're looking, of course, for a cheap price. You can correct me if I'm wrong. That's what are you doing? Then once you bought possibly cheap your flowers at the big market, at the main market, very early in the morning, yeah, four o'clock, five o'clock, five, five a.m. Yeah, then you bring it to your store. You make it beautiful in your store. Yeah, then you calculating. Okay, I bought it. Then I have to add my costs and my tax, and of course what you want to earn with the flowers. That you have to add the price you bought for the flowers. So and then the next step is you open your store and then you offer, which means you sell the flowers to the customers. Of course, more expensive and the difference now between what you paid for the flowers and what you get for the flowers that's your income right this is what a trader is doing was a what a business owner is doing and now you can replace the word flowers with burger with pizza whatever you want to sell yeah it's always the same. You have to buy the product cheaper. You have to add your costs and what you want to make money with that. And then you have to sell it. This is what a trader is doing, basically. And now, guys, ladies and gentlemen, you can replace the word flowers yeah, to... May, let's say Euro USD, Euro USD, or maybe gold, or maybe any share, something like this, which means the moment you are a trader, the moment you are a real trader is the moment you are trading a product. And how you can make money with that? Simple. You have to buy cheap. You have to add your costs for the broker, swap costs, spread, something like this. Then you want to think how much I want to earn with that product. And then you have to sell it more expensive. And that's the way how you can make money. That's the only way in trading. It doesn't matter if you're a trader with stocks. Shares, commodities, indices, forex, you trade just what? And here we come. Here we go. That's the big difference to investment. Here you make money with the price. The product in trading doesn't matter. You also can be a business owner for flowers, for burgers, for pizza, for uh, used cars, whatever there is, the product doesn't matter. You make money if you buy with the price cheap and sell expensive. That's, ladies and gentlemen, it's the only way to make money with trading. So once you understood this, yeah, then you will realize, yeah, now we can delete this. And now we talk about the trader. So as we said, for example, 
Yeah, this is your product. I just say product. Yeah, because you can pray, pr replace it with euro dollar, whatever there is. It's just a product, and you know you make money with. We talked about the price. So now, big question: When it comes to trading stocks, shares, uh, stocks, forex, commodities, whatever there is, yeah, energies. However, how you can make money? Of course, we said buy cheap and sell expensive. So, but now when it comes to the right edge of the chart, where you don't know what happens next, you have to think about the following point. If you are the owner of the store, if you are the owner of the store, then you are the boss then you can say about the price you buy the product and of course you can say how much i want to have when i sell if you're the owner then you have and that's the word then you have influence to the price, which means you are responsible how cheap you buy and how expensive you will sell, which means you are responsible for the price, which means you know how much money you can make because you say how expensive you want to sell the product, which means you are responsible for the price. The only point you don't know is how many customers you will have on end this one day or at the week. But for the price, you are responsible. If you know, okay, today I can buy, I can sell 50 flowers, then exactly you know how much money you make because you are responsible for the price. You influence the price directly. And then you have a guarantee to make money because it's your money. The only point, as I said, is you don't know how many customers come to your store. This is what you think about before you open a store. If you want to think about the flower store, yeah, and there is a, a cool street, a lot of people around, and there is no flower store around, for, around about you then there is a guarantee to make money if you are the only flower store. But guys, if you want to sell a refrigerator in Alaska, then you don't make money, of course, which means you have to sell the refrigerator in the, in the desert, and then you can make money, which means it depends where or where is your store placed. If you want to sell, if you want to sell pizza, and there are in the same street, there are five other pizza stores. Then you know you cannot make that money you want. But this is you need to think before you open the store. But once you clarified that point, and you have your store, then you are responsible for the price. You are the boss. You make the price, which means. You have a guarantee, a kind of guarantee how much money you can make because you can say, I want a $5 for a rose. Or maybe I want a five, $4 for a tulp. Or margarita flowers, whatever there is. You make the price, which means you have a kind of guarantee. Now the question, here comes the big question. When it comes to trading, can you influence the price of euro dollar? Can you say how expensive the price should be? Can you influence the store? Can you influence basically you, only you with your account? Can you influence the stocks? Are you big enough? Are you the owner of the forex market? 
Are you the owner of the stock market? So for my point, uh, I can say I'm not. If you have enough money, if you are a central bank, or if you have huge amounts, then you have influence. Yes. I'm quite sure not in Forex market, but maybe for a penny stock, something like this. Or let's assume you have a really, really big, big account like Warren Buffett or Bill Gates or whatever there is. Yes, of course. Then you have influence. Then you can, with a tactical strategy, you can say the price is going up or down because you influence the price with your amount directly. Then you can say, yes, I have influence. But I'm quite sure most of the people don't have that influence. Which means here we come to a special point as a trader. And this special point is uh, if you have no guarantee you need a you know it you need a strategy that's the point if you cannot influence the price with your account because you're the boss of the market then you have to work with a strategy and basically, ladies and gentlemen, meaning, strategy, you have less than 100% of probability, which means if we talk about strategy, we talk about probability. Otherwise, you would have a guarantee. If every investment, if every trade would have 100% success, then you have a guarantee. Then you are the boss of the market. And if not, then of course you have less than 100%. Which means we talk about probability. Which means, please have this in mind, if you have no guarantees, you have to work with strategies. And which means, here we come, why is it so important to know that? Means we talk about math and logic in trading. Do you not assume anyone knows technical analysis? analysis? Yeah, if you listen to the end, then you will get the answer, Oswald. So if we talk about the product and the price, the right edge of the chart where no one knows what's going on and you cannot influence the price. We need to know who is creating the price. How is the price developing? Very simple. Every product is traded around the world. It doesn't matter which kind of product in any kind of order book. That's the big point order book order book and the order book is quite simple it's really it's simple you have three columns yeah three columns sorry you have the price you have the uh, volume of supply and the volume of demand which means you just have numbers just have numbers yeah always Numbers, yeah, that's all. Just only numbers, which means the price is made by volume. If you have more volume on the demand side, on the buyer side, then the price must increasing. Simple mathematic, therefore, is logic. But if you have more uh, more volume on the supplier side, which means on the seller side, then the price must decreasing, is falling down. It's like in a normal shop too. 
if from one product you have a lot of uh, a lot of pieces in your store, you can go down with the price. But if you just have less pieces, if you have just less products in your store, and you have a lot of buyers, then you can increase with the price. That's simple mathematic. And therefore, we can work with a kind of technical analysis or technical strategy, which means we talk about mathematics in trading and we talk about mathematics is logic. So, which means as a trader, you have exactly to do the same like the normal product. You have to buy cheap and sell expensive. It's a kind of really, really simple idea. Idea like you have to lead your own or you have to own your own store, by the way. Yeah. So that's the order book, which means you need a strategy, a strategy in trading. Because you don't have a guarantee. And the strategy must have more, of course, than 50%. And the higher the number of the probability is, or we can say expectation value, we can say uh, the hit quote, the higher the probability number, the earlier or the faster you come to profit. Even with 51%, if you have a strategy with a probability value of 51%, you will make profits on a long run. If you have run about 70%, you can make profit faster. Simple mathematic. And therefore, trading basically is very simple. So what could it be for a kind of strategy? It's the same strategy and you saw in the advertisement and the marketing, the promotion for this webinar, yeah? The point is, what's one of the easiest strategies ever? I tell you, think about again, I just make a note, shortcut order book, the order book. If you know that a lot of people buy when the price is cheap, then the price must increasing. And then people get the money, we have more suppliers, and then the price is going down. And then the price is going to be kind of cheap again, and the next buyers come into the market and buying and buying, and the price is going up again. And the, the, it's always consistently changing between supply and demand. Then we have more sellers, and the price is going down again. Then the price is going to be cheap, and it's buyers come into the market again and prices and now new buyers and the price is going up. So what do you see here right now? What is it? I know the, uh, the answer. Yeah. At the end, ladies and gentlemen, it's a trend. That's all. This based on the order book, on the behavior of all orders, it doesn't matter if you if investing or hatching or arbitrage or whatever there is or real traders, huge money, small money, all people in the moment you want to trade, you have to send your order, you have to send your order into the order book. And there, between supply and demand, there is a new price. So this strategy is 150 years young or old. 1879, Mr. Charles Dow and Mr. Edward Jones figured out by observing the early market, stock market, ha, huh, there is no difference to a normal shop. There is a product, a share, yeah, tra train share or whatever there is, industry, yeah, that moment. Okay, and this share costs something. Ah, people buy, people sell. People buy, people sell. People buy, people sell. Aha, look, there is a trend. There is a trend and there's a long running trend. There's a small money, a medium running trend and there's a small running trend. But there is always a trend based on the behavior of the order book. And this is the strategy 
the most famous hedge funds around the world working with trend following because it's the pure nature of trading. You can make a note. And this is working in any and every time frame from the order book, tick chart, up to the minute chart, up to the five minute, hourly chart, up to the yearly chart or monthly chart or weekly chart. Because what you see in the chart is just a visible legacy from the orders or the numbers from the order book. No more, no less. But now is the question. How should I know? When is the price cheap? When can I buy? Huh? When can I sell? When we talk about probabilities, which means you need a clear strategy for going in and going out. To figure out the probability you need to calculate, because we talk about mathematics and logic in trading, you need First, a clear strategy, let's say trend following. And of course, you need clear, and that's the secret word. How is it? Who knows? Rules. Of course, you need clear rules. Based on the fact that you don't have influence to the price with your account, exactly rules. If you don't have influence, you need rules. And if you do trend following, you are not the one who is creating the trend. You are, your account, I guess your account, is not that big that you can influence the price. You just can play with, which means you cannot create a trend. You cannot turn around the trend. You cannot influence the trend, which means you have to wait. Therefore, rule number one is, rule number one is you need and have to wait for a valid trend. That's rule number one. Or we can have four capitals, uh, and T, and T. How is it? No trend, no trade. Which means cruel, rule number one, rule number one is really clear because you cannot create a trend, so you have to wait for a trend. That's rule number one. No trend, no trade. Exactly. So rule number two, yeah? You need a young trend. Yeah, why is it? Because a young trend says buy cheap and sell expensive. If you have a long running trend, yeah, then it's an old trend. If you want to make really huge money with trading and with this trend following system, then you need a young trend. You need to have in a second correction or in the third correction, or latest in the fourth correction, at the best in the second correction, after you see a trend, you have to buy. Buy cheap, sell expensive. That's the sense of rule number two. Rule number three. Buy or sell in the correction. Why is it? in the correction because the same principle, buy cheap and sell expensive. If you're looking for safety, then people buy in the move because they're looking for safety. They, they used to say, yeah, I want to wait if the price is running, then I want to buy. This is not the sense of trading. Sense of trading means buy cheap, and sell expensive, which means we are buying in the correction. When the price is going into the direction, then we buy. This is what trend followers are doing. This is how huge traders make money. They buy cheap. That sense of rule number three also. 
Yeah, but now you may you might say, uh, but how can I know that the correction is coming to an end? How should I know that? Therefore, you have rule number four. If you work, I make a shortcut with heikinashi, then in heikinashi, this is the expression of heikinashi, yeah? then you can work with a so-called balance candle. And a balance candle is clear described. You have shadows on the upper and lower side, and you have a small body in the middle. And if this balance candle is showing up in the correction, then you set a stop by order above, or if you want to go short, on the short side, on the lower side. And this is the word of a balance candle. In this period, doesn't matter, minute, five minute, hour, four hours, whatever, that's the sense of a balance candle of Heikinashi. No market noisy. In this balance candle, supply and demand turns around and the other, op the opposite direction takes over the volume which is there's a turning with the balance candle in the correction, yeah? With long, it doesn't matter if they're long or short weeks on the upper and lower side, doesn't matter. As long as the upper and lower shadows are as double as the body, as double as the body, yeah? Then you have a clear balance candle. And then, not market, not limit, you set a stop buy order to go long or a stop sell to go short. Yeah? And this, that's the four magic rules. My rule is only buy or sell if relatively price is high or low to the max and the six sec points at the higher low of the current candle. So by the way, whatever you have for a kind of strategy, you need a back test. You need a clear number. If you just work with your own perception because you think or you observed something in the market, it's, it will not working on a long run, yeah? On a, on a uh, short run, based on coincidence, of course, it could working, but not on a long run. Only if you have clear rules, you can calculate with mathematic, with logic, then you have a chance to make money with trading. Otherwise, you will make money by chance based on whatever you see in the market, but not duplicable and not continuously on a long run. It's completely unlogical. It is not possible that you can make money on a long run without the back test, without a clear strategy, with clear rules. Clear rules means, ladies and gentlemen, clear rules means that you always can say to a computer, if, then, which means the computer is working with zeros and ones. If you, don't have such, if you don't have such a clear strategy, computer, stop. Stupid, Alexa. <laughs> if you cannot tell a computer, if this happens, then I want to know the calculation, the probability, then you cannot make money on the long run. Just with watching the charts and you think this is a support, if you think this is a resist, or maybe you think these indicators are working, you, will, can, you can make money by chance, but not on purpose on the long run. It's completely unlogical because, ladies and gentlemen, trading means logic because it's mathematic. If you have clear rules, like the trend following rules, then you have a clear possibility to make money. Of course, there is more topics about money management, risk management, trade management, something like this. And to this topic, we want to talk right now, because if you have all that stuff as a trader, for example, then the next one is uh, based on that point that you don't have influence to the right edge of the chart, that you can do nothing, nothing, that you can do nothing 
that the trade is working for you, which means you don't have an influence. Yes, the only thing what you can do is you can start the trade and you can stop it. But once you are a gamer, once you are a part of the trade, once you have an open trade, you can literally do nothing that the trade is working for you, that the trade is going in your direction. If you want to go long or short, doesn't matter. You can do nothing. The only thing is you can hope that more buyers or sellers come afterwards in the market. This is what you have to clarify before you open the trade. And based on that fact, because we can do nothing that the trade is working for us, we have emotions. And here is the problem, ladies and gentlemen. In a game of mathematics, where is logic? If you make decisions, the right edge of the chart, based on emotions, you can not win on purpose. It is not possible. How we can control our emotions? Only, and there is a deep insight from my own education, about our prefrontal cortex. Prefrontal cortex is placed beyond the forehead and is responsible for your conscious thinking. Logical thinking is taking place in your prefrontal cortex. And if you want to control your emotions, that you can make decisions based on your strategy, that you can handle the probabilities that you can handle the losses, which must be a part of probability, then you have to answer the five magic questions. The five questions. How, when, where, why, and what to do. What to do, how to do, when to do, where to do, and why to do. Five magic questions. If you can answer the five magic questions whenever you come to the chart, whenever it comes to the right edge of the chart, you have a clear strategy, you have fixed rules, no success without rules, and you can answer the question, what should I do right now? When should I do it? How should I do it? And where should I do it? And why should I do it? Then you can answer the questions in a logical way in your prefrontal cortex. And then you can control the emotions. And here is the opposition. Here's the opposite side. If you cannot answer all five questions, if something is not clear, you feel uncertainty. And in the moment you cannot answer those five questions, you go further in your limbic system. And the limbic system is responsible and the place for your emotions. Which means whenever you can answer the five magic questions based on your strategy, based on your confidence in your rules, then you make decisions with logic in your prefrontal cortex. Whenever you cannot answer the questions, what you think, oh, what should I do right now? Your limbic system takes over and then you make decisions based on emotions. And then you have a problem because then you cannot make money. That's the only way, ladies and gentlemen, 
how to control your emotions. And now, the last part, is it possible do it uh, yourself? Can you teach yourself in trading? There is a clear answer, and the clear answer is no, it is not possible. Why not? First of all, it was never, never ever planned that someone can learn trading by yourself. And there is a crucial word, and the crucial word is feedback. First of all, in January, first January 1983, people say it was the it was the birth or the birthday of internet online. And then it becomes more and more and more. Before that date, if you want to learn trading, that's the core industry, you have to go to a bank or to an office or to a broker. If you want to be a trader, if you want to learn trading before internet was there, you have to go to a bank, you have to make an education for years. The same if you have to go to an office, a trading office, you have to pay a lot of money to get an education spot there. And then you have to learn for years. Or you have to go to a broker, but then you're not a trader, but you learn trading there for years, but you have to make an education. That was before 1983. It was never planned that someone can do to learn trading by yourself. It was never planned. It's not possible because it's a job. It's a normal business to learn to be a trader. If you see all the reports, all the books from well-known people around the world, famous people, then you know huh, all of them had an education in a bank or in an office. Even the turtle traders were educated by uh, Richard Dennis and Bill Eckert, for example, for years. But after that time, they got an other business and I call it the delivery business because it's way easier to sell you an indicator. It's way easier to sell you a dream. Trading is so easy. It's way easier to sell you a coaching or sell you something else which has nothing to do that you have to trade by yourself. I can sell you something. I don't have to be a trader for that. So if you are a car maker and you have to deliver the wheels, then you are delivered and you deliver the wheels. But then you don't have to know something about the car maker. You are an expert. You have an expertise in wheel making. And here is the same. There is the core industry. It's a trade. It means trading. What we talked about. And we have a delivery industry to sell your dreams or illusions. So why is it not possible? Why is it not possible that you train yourself, that you can teach yourself in trading? Simple. Feedback. How should you know in trading what is the right a good thing. How should you know that? The only thing what you can do is by trial and error. But the only feedback you get is a so-called external feedback. It's an external feedback by your account. 
It's an external feedback. The moment your account is going down, you think, oh, I made something wrong. And the moment your account is going up, you think your account, uh, your everything what is doing is doing right. Isn't it? Yes, it is. But if you think about probabilities, then you will remember losing money does not mean that you make something wrong. Increasing account does not mean that you make something right. And therefore, you need an internal feedback that someone who is a trader, that someone who can trade, who has long experience in trader, can tell you your losses or your profits are right or wrong. How should you know what is good or right in trading without a feedback? And that's the reason, that's a logical reason why you cannot teach yourself in trading because the only feedback you get is about your account. No one can tell you if you're right or wrong in trading because you don't have experience. I know now you can say, oh, of course I can teach myself. Yeah, 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 yeah you can. Yes, you can. If you have really a lot of money and you have really much precious lifetime. If you have long enough time to teach yourself, then you can figure out by trial and error. But if you don't have that money and if you don't have that time, and if you want to learn trading uh, in a time you can live, by the way, and in a short time, then you cannot completely unlogical teach yourself. This is not possible. And this is the reason why you need basically a mentor or at least an education. If you think, and I know I thought it by myself, and a lot of, all of people think, yeah, I will be the one of the 10%. But in the end, you will be one of the 90%. Believe me, it is, as I said. So, therefore, we're coming to the end right now. Once you have all this in your mind, now you have the chance to cut the way to your own success. There is my online course, Logical Online Course, for 999 and my special offer for you is coming to the community for 999 for one year, which is normally 1,500, which means all together you get only today for 1,400. The online course for 18 parts and of course one year community and I'll, you can learn trading with me. And now I give you the link in the chat here right now to all of you, uh, to all of you here right now in the chat, and then you can click on this link and then you see all the informations. Yeah, now, and with this, I give you personally my own word with my name, the guarantee that you can make money with trading, doesn't matter, stocks, forex, whatever there is, with a clear education, clear strategy and with someone who is telling you if you're right or wrong, you have a great chance and a guarantee to make money with trading. Thank you very much for listening. I hope we see each other in the course or in the occasion. Thanks also to David and Anker that I could do this here. And to all of you, thank you, thank you very much for your attention. And as always, have courage and be kind. And may the force of the logic be with you. See you next time.